All right, so today on the workbench, what we have here is what I am calling my PRS point 10 top. And the reason I'm calling that is for some reason, the previous owner decided to weight relieve this thing by almost completely sanding off the quilt top that it had. And I'll, I'll give you some of these close up pictures all the way around the perimeter that you can see that it's sanded all the way through the maple cap down to the mahogany back. So I don't know if they did it for weight relief. Uh, I weighed the guitar. It weighs about five pounds, 15 ounces at this point after that. So if that was the goal, they, uh, they, they achieved the goal of weight relief. Um, the main problem it had um, I'll show you pictures of what it looked like when I bought it and you might ask well why did you buy it if it looks so messed up and I thought well hey it's a PRS 10 top and for the price they were asking the tuners the pickups and the gig bag that they were selling it in was basically worth that price so I thought what do I got to lose um, even if I can't really restore it and turn a profit on it then at least I've I can make my money back with those parts if I want to sell it um, so that's why I bought it, but as you can see in the photos before, it was really in uh, quite a state. Um, I believe this was like falling through or this one was falling through. Um, there was no material there. And that's probably the biggest problem was that they sanded so far that there was nothing left to hold these, your pots and your three-way switch on. So it was actually falling through. Um, in these areas. So what I had to do was put a, a board inside the, well, first what I had to do was fill those little extra routes that they have underneath each one of these in the guitar that kind of recesses it so it'll make its way through the top. Um, but since he made it so thin, well, now I needed to add more material and put a piece of wood underneath all this so that there would be something to hold these patches that I put in behind it as well and also add a little bit of uh, add a bit of strength to this area so I had to use long posts for this area and I believe I had to then uh, uh, route this one out a little bit so it would fit um, so I put those little patches in and then I sanded down the tops of the edges so that they're flush around them kind of just looks now like somebody played it a lot and wore the or the finish at these areas from doing this all the time, but that's not the case. Um, the, probably the biggest, you know, indicator of how much they took off is looking at the output jack and they literally filed this and sanded it off at the same time, probably a 16th of an inch as well on that part. And you can also see the, uh, bridge posts, the edges of them sticking out of the body. Uh, they also painted pickup rings and that was probably the most of the damage. The back was actually spray painted too. So I don't know if they took the back finish off as well and then just spray painted the back, um, as well. The neck wasn't, um, but then I decided that I was going to, uh, just make it a satin finish on the back of the neck because I like satin finishes on the back of the neck and I thought, Hey, this thing's already you know, in a state, why not uh, just do that? I'm not really, <laughs> definitely not devaluing the guitar any further by doing that. So I made the back of the neck uh, satin. Um, the, yeah, the, I think the uh, there might be one coil out on the neck pickup because the readings I'm getting uh, on the bridge pickup, I get about 7.9, but on the neck, I'm only getting 4.2, and then in the middle, I get like 2.3, well, 2.79. So that says maybe one of these coils aren't working in this neck pickup. It still works. I still get sound out of it, but I'm not, I'm not sure whether that's the case. I haven't taken the time to dig into that. To find out what the um, what the deal is with that. So yeah, this is my 
was my restoration project. You know, I like the finish now. Um, when I first got it, it was really sticky. Um, whatever they did was not good. Um, you know, frets really good shape. You know, it plays nice, but it, it looks horrendous. <laughs> um, but with pickups, I might just swap these out. And since it's already been bastardized quite a bit, I'll just throw in a set of uh, Hetfield EMGs into it for fun. So let me know what you think about this thing. Um, really, I think, you know, I thought, you know, you could if you wanted to completely restore it, but that would be a huge project. You'd have to separate the neck, you know, plane this flat so you could slap on a new top and all that. And I thought, that's way too much work. I don't really want to do all that. And this will still be able to be played as is. And it was a fun project anyway. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.